Happy Monday, everybody. Kenny Lamons here, uh, where we are helping new agents on their journey to building a large, successful Medicare book of business um, and just really sharing tips and tricks and strategies and ways that you can be successful in selling Medicare for the long term, right? So today I want to share the top three mistakes that I see new agents fall into when they're getting into this business, okay? This isn't going to be drawn out. This is going to be short, sweet, and to the point. If you have concerns that you may run into these three problems, then I'll encourage you just to reach out to me and Ethan directly. Um, we do. I'd be happy to answer any questions related to this, even if you don't want to end up working with us, okay? So number one is not understanding how you get paid, how much money you make when you sell a Medicare plan, and just generally not understanding commissions for Medicare Advantage, okay? And Medicare supplements for that matter. The last thing that you want to do is quit your job, get your license, partner up with some marketing organization, and you weren't expecting that, you know, you only get paid half the commission if we're halfway through the year, or you start selling during the annual enrollment period, and you're not going to get paid anything till January or February for everything you sell during that period. So these are all things that you can easily overcome by talking with somebody in the industry that has some experience that's willing to open up and be honest with you. Um, so I'll be happy to break down exactly how much an agent gets paid for a new to Medicare commission, a Medicare supplement commission, when you can expect to get paid on it. Um, and then really what you can generally estimate how much money you might make in your first year. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot you really straight when it comes to that because I've been there myself. Number two, okay, is not having a specific lead strategy, okay? So number one, you got to know what kind of lead you're going to come out of the gates working, where to get it, somebody to help you learn how to work it, and maybe most importantly, how much is it going to cost you? We do offer a really good lead credit program that can essentially make it to where your leads cost you nada, or at least are heavily discounted. Even if you don't work with us, you need to be prepared to shell out that money every week or every month for whatever your chosen lead source is and have a realistic idea of how much that's going to cost you so that you can prepare for that. Again, if you have specific questions as it relates to where to get leads, how much you can expect to pay for them, or what we offer for agents that come on board with us, please feel free to reach out. Number three, okay, this is not finding the right partner. So Ethan did a great video a while back about why you need a Medicare mentor, okay? But just not even just a mentor, a total organization that's going to be able to provide you the technology resources you need to sell, such as online quote and enroll platforms, okay, that cost an independent agent a lot of money. But if your marketing organization or upline provides that to you, it's often going to be free to you. And then the technology tools, potentially lead sources. So if they're not actually providing a discounted or a free lead to you, then they at least need to be able to coach you on where you're going to get your leads, about how much they're going to cost, and shoot you straight on what marketing strategy you're going to have. And then thirdly, they need to be able to provide some training and support to you. Now, depending what kind of captive, independent, what type of person you are, you may want to give up some commission and go with a captive organization. Or you may want to go completely independent like me and Ethan are, where you're still going to get training and support, but nobody's going to sit there and hold your hand. Regardless of what your situation is, don't jump into a bad partnership. I've done it. Number one, it's going to greatly increase the probability that you fail in the business if you don't have a good partner. Number two, you may end up stuck there where you can't move your contracts for a certain period of time, even if you're unhappy. And just overall, one of the biggest keys to your success is who you partner with. That may not be me and Ethan, that may not be our organization, uh, but certainly you need to 
do your homework and make sure that you mesh with whatever upline that you decide to contract with. So I hope that was helpful, guys, especially for your new, for you new agents. Easiest ways to reach out to me are directly in our email is info at patriotretirementgroup.com, medicaremillennials.com. I've got a contact link there. Um, and then, of course, we always encourage you to like and comment on the video. Uh, that really helps us get found on YouTube. So appreciate it.